Hey Fire Signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. In today's reading, we are going to take a look and see what's coming in for you for the next um, three to six months, okay? So where will you be in three to six months from now? Um, what you can expect? So to begin, I mean, you've got the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You've got some beautiful cards, by the way, but there's definitely fresh starts that are strongly indicated on in the cards and on the um, and in the energies for you, okay? Um, the Aces are about new beginnings, but it's also about it also relates to timing and circumstances in our lives, and um, it's you know I feel like the next three to six months are going to be it's going to be a time for a new beginning. It does strongly denote the phase of a new beginning okay whether this is a new beginning um whether you're going to start out fresh in something whether this is a new beginning for love for romance for relationships a new beginning for career um it is um there is something that i feel like there may be even new opportunities uh new uh doors windows that might be opening up for you but of course you know Take a look at the jagged peaks in the Ace of Swords and the rolling peaks in the Ace of Wands. Okay, this, those jagged mountains and those jagged peaks suggest that whatever it is that you're starting on or the beginning of, you know, whatever this is, although it's the beginning of something wonderful, it is going to be a little bit challenging and it might require that, you know, uh, it does suggest that maybe this is going to be challenging and it may, you might have to, Ace of Swords, you know, uh, with the Ace of Swords, you might have to uh, take on uh, you know, lean into your mental resilience um, and the ace of wands, um, you know, lean into your passion, your creativity, your willpower. Um, there's this new energy, okay, there's good news and there's new energy that is coming in your way. And especially it's in relation to a relationship, in relation to love, in relation to romance here, and also in relations to like work, work and career. Okay, there's a new energy, there's a new enthusiasm and a drive for something that's sweeping in. So you could potentially start something new, okay? And it may be something that you're not even thinking about doing right now. It could be something that you're passionate about. It could be something that you're really enthusiastic and you're very, you know, driven about, but it might not ever be something that you thought you'd, uh, you'd do. I mean, aces are always welcome signs, okay? They're always such welcome um, card to see in any reading, okay? And for you, I feel like do get ready because the next three to six months are going to be amazing. They're going to be powerful. Um, it, in, in, you know, in, indicates new beginnings, new starts, um, it also lets us know that, you know, whatever it is that maybe you're starting on now or you're working on, it could be like a project or it could be a work opportunity. It could be an idea, a business idea. It could be a relationship, a friendship, whatever this is, is a, or if you're planting any seeds. So again, if you're starting something, even if it's just an idea right now, if you're starting something, this has the energy, okay? The energy of it growing into something much more substantial, the energy of it going, you know, or sustainable. So whatever it is that you're starting on now, there's an opportunity, there's an opportunity for growth with this, you know, with this person, with this thing, with this job, career, with this opportunity. Okay, so don't, don't give up, especially don't give up just because you think it's too hard or it's too challenging. I honestly feel like there's a whole world of possibility that is going to um, be opening to you, um, be opening up to you and I feel like you're going to be pursuing a new path okay and a path that which is in complete alignment with your true self your higher self I mean you've got some beautiful cards here and alignment is a really good word to use because that's how I feel like the next uh you know next six months you are coming into alignment okay now that doesn't happen very uh quickly and um it you know you might start there's a strong pull towards something or someone here, okay? And it might start out challenging or experimental or you might have to make some adjustments and try again, but don't give up, whatever this is. Let your, like, be motivated by your enthusiasm, your passion for this person, for, or for this thing, and, you know, let your motivation be your guides because whatever this is, this is something that... I honestly feel like this is like a wish or a goal or a dream come true for you, but it's not going to be easy, okay? It's not going to be easy, but this, the Ace of Wands, because this is your energy, and this is the, 
I feel like, you know, this is the, the way that I see this card is it's like a spark, you know, and you've got that spark within you to fuel that massive fire, okay? Remember that like a flash itself is not enough to keep the flames burning. So you've got the spark, okay, or there's going to be a spark ignited in you, but you need to keep that fire, you need to keep, keep the flames grow, um, growing. You are definitely going to, speaking of growing, you are going to be growing on a more personal or a spiritual level. Um, in saying that, you might be more interested or you might be more open in like connecting with people, taking up courses, classes, um, especially one when you can sort of uh, follow and embrace your creative spirit, your creative energy. Some of you might, for example, you might be taking up a tarot course, you might be taking up a photography class, you know, meditation, yoga, any self-improvement programs. Um, I feel like you're really ace of swords energy you're really trusting okay you're seeking your truth and whatever you're seeking is also seeking you and you're also trusting that you know the experiences that you're going to be the experiences you're seeking you're taking on is one that's going to put you it's going to open up more possibilities for you and put you onto your path your true path okay um some sort of idea is being developed okay or you've been there's some sort of idea that I feel like you've been sitting on. It could be a passion project of yours, a hobby. Um, it could be a business idea, creative idea, pursuit. And I feel like the next six months are a really good time. So you've been doing a lot of planning and a lot of researching, and that's good. But I feel like it's time to take action. And the next six months are really good for that because I feel like you've got enough research or planning behind you to get started with whatever this is and here's the thing you've got the nine of cups right and when the nine of cups shows up this is like your genie in a bottle um the universe is here to grant your wish so the universe is saying you know um your wish is my command so whatever it is that you've been wishing or wanting the universe also wishes you know to grant your wish here and i feel like this whatever this idea is it's a dream it's a wish it's a goal for you and the energy, the vibration of this very thing is so very near. And in the next six months, either this is something you're going to start to put, like the, the wheels of this is are in motion, or you're going to start, or you're going to see your wish granted. You're going to see it uh, come true. So the idea of something, the intention that you have, okay, and it's very strong, it's a very desirous energy, and it has complete and full potential to turn into something energizing, into something fulfilling, and into something rewarding as well. Now, in terms of love and relationships, if you are single or if you have come out of a relationship, um, I think it's important. If you've come out of a relationship, first and foremost, I think it's important for you, you know, the hermit energy to give yourself time to just recuperate from your heartbreak or recuperate from the failed relationship. Well, I don't like saying failed relationships, although I do throw that out there. It's but, you know, you learn from everything. You learn from, you know, every failure. Um, and that's that's how you succeed by learning from those failures. So it's just time to recuperate from that. You know, give yourself a little bit of time. Be kind to yourself and uh, to just sort of, yeah, take a step back, recharge your batteries. If you have been single, um, I feel like you'll be welcoming someone, like a new energy into your life. And this is a very, um, a very creative spirit, a very passionate person. Someone who's very spiritual um, and just someone who is in just complete alignment. This person is responding to your vibration. Okay, so, um, you know, the, the types of qualities and traits you want this individual to have. It's so important for you to be specific because... You are attracting this person, okay? You're manifesting um, this person, this individual. And, you know, they're responding to your vibration here. Ten of Cups, you've got the nine and ten, two consecutive numbers from the same suit. And this is quite impressive. But this is emotional fulfillment. This is happiness. I finally feel like you're going to get to a stage where you're going to, well, you're going to finally feel like you're going to be happy. Okay, this is... You're happily ever after. It could signal domestic bliss. This is something that you've always wanted. It suggests family relationships are harmonious. It's, you know, things are very loving. Um, there's good times and, you know, new beginning, perhaps even new beginning of life. Some of you might be welcoming a child or someone close to you might be welcoming a child into you, um, into their life. Uh, in terms of, you know, relationships, I feel like you're feeling very abundant. You're feeling very... Um, satisfied you're feeling um, happy rewarded um, abundance is also coming up very strongly for you guys it's in terms of relationships i feel like you finally get what you want the home the kids most importantly you know the love 
And I also feel like this is someone who's willing to share and is ready to share that bond with you. The rainbow signals the end of difficult times and it's a sign from the divine that everything is going to be okay. So if you have been going through something, you know, everything will be okay. It will. You know, if you have not come out of it yet, just, you know, keep, keep the hope alive. Um, everything will work out in the end. Um, and it is a sign of divine love, right? Um, so things will fall into place. Things will work themselves out. You just have to keep the faith. Um, I feel like your heart is expanding. Your heart chakra is expanding. You're opening up. And I feel like you're sharing much more deep and powerful connections with people around you. Um, I feel like there's also, like the universe is supporting you in trying to reach your highest potential. And so are the people around you. And I think people around you are happy to see you happy. They're happy to see you succeed and win in life. I feel like you're really getting on. Like there's, you're really getting on with everyone um, around you. And it's just this beautiful harmony in the energies. I also see that there is something very special here where you're spending more time with your family or people close to you. Uh, it could be like a holiday, it could be a reunion, a family event, this very strong bonds here and you're, you're relaxed, you're having fun, there's a lot of joy, there's a lot of, you know, happy people, happy family members, happy friends here, um, it's just, it's alignment, it's just complete, you know, it's a very peaceful, harmonious, happy scene. But this is, there is some sort of dream that's come true. And I think this is something that you've been wishing and waiting on. Um, and the thing is, the thing with the energies here, when something feels fantastic, do more of it. Because the, in the energies, it's just this really, you're going to start something, okay? Whether it's a new project or a new opportunity or a new relationship. And it's just going to feel good. And you're just going to want more of that, emo, uh, more of those feelings. So... Let your emotions, let your feelings, let them guide you, okay? Because when something feels fantastic, when something feels great, do more of it, right? Um, so allow that, allow your own like inner guidance, allow that to be your guide. Seek out opportunities that, you know, make you feel fantastic, okay? That, you know, make you feel great. All right, guys, and these are your messages. Thanks for watching and listening. Be sure you support to the channel by subscribing. Hit that subscribe button, guys. It helps the channel to grow. And by liking, sharing, commenting. Bye.